Hello children, all of you take out your workbook, page number 17, already our village lesson, we completed till page number 16, yes or no? Now all of you take out your workbook, page number 17, what is there in the 17th page, answer the following questions. So today we are going to write our question and answers in our, our village lesson, okay children, all of you take out your workbook, page number 17. Workbook 17 page, our village. Our village lesson, third class. Okay, children. So, let us see what is the first question. What is the first question there? All of you look into your books. What is your family? What is your family and what type of family is yours? Okay children, here what we have to write means what is a family. Already we know what is a family. A family is a group of people who live, work and enjoy together. Yes or no, already we had learned in our first class also. Second class also and now we are having in third class also. So what we have to write means what is a family answer you have to write. And again, what type of family is yours. So at home, what type of family is yours. There are three types of families, yes or no. Fam which family is a small family, large family and joint family. Yes or no children? So what you have to do means your home, in your home, which type of family is your, yours? In your family, if it is a small family means you have to write small family. If it is a large family means you have to write a large family. Or otherwise if it is a joint family means you have to write joint family. Okay children? So what is the first question? What is a family and what type of family is yours? The first answer I am writing on the board. All of you take out your workbook page number 79. Write all of you. What is the first answer? What is the family? Here for us in our workbook we had got three lines. In the three lines with the finger gap write neatly. Okay children. What is the family? A family is a Group of people who live, work and enjoy together. It's called here. family. Okay children, what is a family? This is the definition of family. A family is a group of people who live, work and enjoy together. This is called a family. So what is the next question? In that same question, in the same question only we are having one more question. What is that? What type of family is yours? At your home, which type of family is your, yours? Let's write that one. My family is a My family is here. If it is a small family, only father, mother and one child or two child is called a nuclear family. A father, mother and three or more children is called a large family. And a family with the father, mother, children, grandfather, grandparents, cousins, Valandar Unte, it is called as a joint family. So, most of us will be having a large family or small family or joint family. So, my family is a nuclear family, right? I am writing nuclear family. So, what type of family is yours means you write that one. Okay, children. This is our first answer. You got three lines there. In the three lines you have to write neatly with giving finger gap. For each and every sentence you have to give a finger gap. First answer. A family is a group of people who live, work and enjoy together. It's called your family. My family is a nuclear family. Okay, children, this is the first answer. All of you take out your workbooks and note it down in your notebooks. In your workbooks. Okay, children. After completing this, see the second question. See the second question. What's the second question? Who earns money in your family? Who earns money in your family? Who earns money in our families? My father earns money in my family.
family. So, so no second answer. Yes. My father earns money. In my family, this is the second question answer. Who earns money in your family? My father earns money in my family. Okay. Next, coming to the third question. Mention the different occupations that you are aware of. Already we had learned so many occupations in this lesson, our village lesson. Yes or no? So, you have to write few of the occupations here. Occupations names you have to write today. Like occupations means like a teacher, doctor, carpenter, work. All these are there, no? That you have to write. How many we have to write there? Total how many? 4 plus 4? 8 boxes we got. So, in that 8 boxes we have to write the 8 occupations there. So, Already we had learned what are the occupations uh, which are um, there in our villages. So all that occupations you write here in this one. So if you did not remember all the occupations means if you see in the page number 16. In the middle all these are occupations only. Any of these 8 you can write here. Okay children. Any of these occupations, any of these 8 you can write in this page for third answer. Let us see in the third one. Third question. Third answer. So the first one, mention the different occupations that you are aware of. How many, so many occupations? First one, teacher. In that boxes you have to write the teacher, doctor, farmer, carpenter. All these are occupations only now. Yes. Carpenter. Next, the fifth one, porter. Next, a barber. And next, a tailor. And the last eighth one, plumber. All these are eight occupations. Teacher, doctor, farmer, carpenter, porter, barber, tailor and plumber. All these are eight occupations. All these eight occupations you write in that eight boxes. For third question answer. Okay children. So these are the occupations. This is the third answer. And next coming to the fourth question. Fourth one. After completing this. Write fourth one. I am erasing all this. So children fourth question. Why do some children stay away from school? Why do some children stay away from school already? This also we learned in our lesson. Yes or no? So already we know. Why some children stay at home without going to school? Okay. Fourth answer you write. Some children stay away from school. Some children stay away from school. Why? Because of their because of their poor economic poor economic conditions and gender inequality. Gender inequality. Okay, children. So, for this fourth answer, we got three lines in our book. I had written one, two, three, four, five lines I had written. So, you have to write in the three lines only. Okay, children. So, write very neatly. So, why some children stay away from school? So, some children stay away from school because of their poor economic conditions and Gender inequality. Okay, children. Why some children stay away from school? Why some children stay away from school? Because of their poor economic conditions and gender inequality. Okay, children. This is the fourth answer. And fifth question. What means of transport are not generally seen in villages? 
some of the transport is uh, the, some of the transports we won't see in uh, villages that transports only we has to mention here okay children so what are the transports that we will not see in our villages then uh, the transports will not be seen in villages they will be only in uh, cities only so some few of these uh, transports we won't see the in a villages so that transports only you has to write here okay children so fifth answer i am writing down here right what we can't see buses will see lorries will see others will be there in a the villages so bicycles will be bikes will be and those who are not in a villages that only we has to write there and hey, friends can you see in the villages yes we can see while they are flying in the sky but we are not having any airports or some anything you know on the land yes or no so aeroplanes we cannot see okay children trains trains we won't see and mostly lorries also we won't see only uh, for a day one or twice uh, one or two lorries will come and go yes or no so lorries also we won't see mostly in a villages not in the towns and cities in a villages i am saying this is the question l o r i e s yes, lorries and ships ships also we, we will not see um bullock carts will be seen in a villages everything will be seen uh, okay this is enough aeroplanes trains lorries ships are not generally seen in generally seen in villages okay children so what are the what means of transport are not generally seen in villages aeroplanes trains lorries ships are not are generally not seen in children one second this is not seen not a not seen n o t not s e e n not seen in the villages okay children this is the fifth answer and now sixth one after completing this fifth one now sixth one okay children what is the sixth question there why should we help the old and disabled why should we help the old and disabled why do they need what do they need from us why should we help the old and disabled old means peda vallu musal vallu untaru kada mana idrike grandfathers grandparents for them why should we help and for the disabled people for the disabled people means who can see who cannot hear who cannot talk who cannot walk for all that people what why should we help and what we has to do all that we has to right here wow. and what do they need from us and what do they need from us mana nunchi valaki em kavali that we has to right here okay children sixth one why should we help the old and disabled and what do they need from us the answer we should help the old and disabled because why children because they cannot they cannot do things on their own valandri vallu pan cheskole kabatti we has to help them things on their own okay children so and what do they need from us on their own why they uh, why they cannot do things by their own means because due to their their own due to their ill health is yes or no because of their due to their ill health they won't do things on their own and what do they need from us and what do they need from us they need a what do they need from us they need our support they need our 
support not sympathy okay children what do they need from us they need support from us not a sympathy okay children yes this is the sixth answer so why should we have the old and disabled and what do they need from us sir the answer is for the sixth question we should help the old and disabled because they cannot do things on their own due to their ill health due to their ill health and what do they need from us they need our support they need our support okay children this is the sixth answer so children uh, we are having one more one more question here seventh answer seventh question so the space will not sufficient here i am erasing this one or if you note it down in your workbook
after completing your writing all these question and answers everything in your workbook what you have to do means start reading from this first one our village lesson also already i told you to read our surroundings lesson for question and answers everything in your book after completing that second lesson our village lesson everything all these question and answers fill in the blanks true or false all this matching everything you has to read and learn okay children what you will do means once again you see the animations of this lessons and there will be activity also in that animations you complete that activities also and after completing all that what you has to do means you has to learn all this question and answers and everything there will be essays also for you we will connect essays also for you so what you has to do means every day you has to read everything all the question and answers fill in the blanks matching everything okay children so don't go and play outside without playing outside stay at home and read everything okay children because you will be having exams also okay children with this we completed our workbook okay children thank you children